Coop, Michael Cooper, number 21, 6'6", 170 pounds, New Mexico. Mike Cooper, uh, off the bench for the Lakers. He's a great defensive guard. The Lakers, because of that man, Michael Cooper off the bench, had a manpower advantage. Russ, why do you like Coop? Because he plays hard nose defense, and he works every second he's out there. He's got to be very alert around him. He has extremely long arms, and he's quick as a cat. Cooper is a marvelous leaper. They really like Mike Cooper here in L.A. Underneath the Cooper, score! It's showtime! Cooper out of New Mexico, oh. the best six man in the league in the opinion of many. Michael Cooper, one of the most effective six men in basketball. Cooper, he's going to slam it. Cooper's the best six man right now in basketball. Michael Cooper's a great defensive player. Cooper is an excellent defensive player. Cooper, a very, very intelligent player. I really like watching him play defense. And he hit the shot. Michael Cooper with more three-point shots than anyone in the history of the NBA playoffs. There's that Cooper loop that play they run for Michael Cooper. Makes that pass to Cooper. He knows what to do with it. Hollywood. They call that the Cooper loop here in Los Angeles. And when he goes up in the air, I mean, you are talking serious levitation. The Lakers are the world champions. NBA defensive player is the Lakers' own Michael Cooper. My main goal right now is to make the first team all defensive team. Then my next goal after that is to stay on that until I retire. Cooper blocked it. That is why he is on the all-NBA first team. To play that many consecutive games through pain, through not feeling well, I just knew that I came to work every single day. The LA Sparks are the new champions of the WNBA. It's taught me so much in such a short period of time about the game. You gotta do a defensive stop. No three right now. This is what we're about. We gotta use the clock to our advantage. Come on. Without a doubt, we're, we're the great players that I've ever coached and, and the real integral part of our championship runs. Coop, the minister of defense. <laughs> Michael Cooper, uh, he has a great attitude and he's a great offensive player too, but he's, he's willing to compromise his offense abilities to work hard on defense. And uh, that's one thing with this team. Uh, I think everybody knows their roles and what they're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, when he first came into the league, that's what he wanted to establish, I think. And I think he's yeah. done a good job. You showed us in your rookie year uh, your value and uh, your heart and your commitment to the team. And uh, that was 100% every year that you played. And I want to thank you. I, I remember I was out there trying to guard Daryl Dawkins. He was a skinny guy flying over my shoulder. You know, it's <laughs> number 21. Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Cooper. And they drafted Michael Cooper. And I love your humility, uh, but that's what it is, because you were a big part of our success. I didn't get in the first time. An argument could be made for you as well. I think Cooper should be in the Hall of Fame. He's a multiple-time all-defensive the defensive player of the year, five-time champion. Showtime wouldn't have won those five rings without Cooper. He was just as much an instrumental part of those champions as Magic Coop, as Magic Worthy and uh, Kareem were. And Michael Cooper was just as valuable coming off the bench. And I think the fact that Coop, I said this on the radio all the time, I tweeted it all the time, the fact that you're not in the Hall of Fame is a disgrace because not everybody has to score 20 points a game to be a Hall of Famer. That was so you to, <laughs> to protect your teammates. But thank you, most importantly, thank you for always having my back. It's good to see the Hall recognize players due to their defensive efforts. I would suspect Michael Cooper might be a guy that can get some legitimate considerations from the Laker teams back in the 80s. What a great, great, stout defensive player. And, and I've watched you, you know, I admired, you know, you for a long time. And I knew the type of pride that you took defensively and how you prided yourself on shedding people down and then not only shedding them down, but mentally wearing them down. He was that igniter off the bench. Anytime you'd uh, see him come off the bench and the crowd would start yelling coup, but that it was a smart player coming at you with great intensity and a guy who understood the game. So you have to be on your game in order to be able to do well against Coop. He didn't give you the easy basket. You know when you, you were going to go against the Lakers and Coop was going to guard you, it was going to be a rough night. Coop was a great defender. Uh, you know, physical and, and everything else. He did what the team needed to win. He was the guy who, when we were down, he would pick us up with a big block, uh, a steal, or a three-pointer. Remember, he set the record on the Celtics for three-pointers in the championship series. 
I think of Coop, I think of long socks, I think of the three-point shot. I wore my socks like that too to be like Coop. That's how we rocked it in the 80s. You, you gotta have the high socks, I love them. Anytime you see Coop, everybody just has to go Coop. He could defend anybody. The crowd hollers, cool. <laughs> you ever hear him? All the time, Chick, and I want to thank you for starting it for one reason out here in L.A. Does it uh, really, do you hear it? Does it lift you? Oh, definitely. It inspires me a lot to get out there and do something, especially on the defensive end when you go for a good defensive play and, you know, they respond that way. It makes you want to come back with another one. He wanted to pump beer in their heart, shadow them everywhere they went. You know, he has that look on his face, you know, that fearless look like a dog, like, I'm going to get you. In the game, Seattle down by three. There's the screen, there's the yellow shot, partially blocked by Cooper. Cooper. The defensive player of the year doing what he does so well. <laughs> what a big, big play. Down the middle, Ellis gives instead to Luke, and now to Ellis. That's a two-pointer block by Cooper. What a block. What a block shot by Cooper. Michael Cooper has the ability to avoid a screen and to block a shot. And those two keys make him a great defensive player. Boy, this guy can play deep. Cooper won't score you a lot of points, but what he does is just incredible. Michael Cooper having his best offensive season. Came in this year as a defensive specialist, but he's well-rounded his game, unquestionably. Cooper, who's outstanding sixth man, emerged as an offensive threat this year, but he is a defensive specialist. He is a tremendous defensive player. Outstanding defensive player. Cooper always making you work when you bring the ball up the floor. Welcome. Cooper, an excellent defensive player. He is a delightful guy to have on your team. Versatile. He's given you a close to have a 13-man squad. He can play up front or in the back. And outstanding in either position. Third round draft choice. In his first year really only played three games because of torn ligaments. What a prize he has turned into for being a third round draft choice. He can come in and turn the tide defensively, which few people can do. Offensive foul. <laughs> if you watch Max Cooper when he, he gives ground, and that's what the good defensive players have to do. Watch Cooper guess here now. He body bumps him here, but now here's the guess move right there. There's the big move. Good, strong defense by by Cooper. He can play 3-4 position on this on this floor for this Laker team. Small forward, guard, lead guard, off guard. Well, Coop's a very aggressive defensive player, and he's not afraid to help anyone on the floor, regardless whether it's a fast break or on the set offense. Michael Cooper is a very exciting player, blocking shots coming from nowhere and taking off the long jumper in track. And he loves to block shots on the run, and he's a flexible athlete. Michael Cooper is a leaper off the run. He loves to get a running start. He's not in the picture, and you're going to see him. In his own quiet way, Michael Cooper's had an outstanding game, too. Mike Cooper, boy, you played well defensively out there. Bill Russell's been singing your praises all through that first half. Great job. Thank you, Rod. Right. Trying to do the best I can. <laughs> <laughs> to play defense effectively, you have to move your feet. There's no one player in the game today that you can stop. The only way you guard someone is with your feet. Keep low, hands up, palms out, head erect. Remember to stay down low in your defensive stance. Keep your back straight, head and eyes up, okay? Keep them going. Now you guys follow me. We'll slide this way. There you go, keep them down. Best defensive player ever guarded me was Michael Cooper. I'll, I'll take that to my grave with me. Hey, I'm guarding Larry Bird. I gotta be at my best. He wants Michael Cooper up front on Larry Bird. Exactly right. Cooper has a history of playing Bird well. Best compliment ever paid to Michael Cooper was by Larry Bird. He said he's the toughest guy to guard me in the league. And that's saying something from a Larry Bird, because normally he doesn't dish out compliments very easily. Cooper and Larry Bird is a classic defensive matchup. Michael Cooper knows how tough a job it is to guard Larry Bird. And I don't think anybody guards Larry Bird or gives him a tougher job than Michael Cooper. Why does he do such a good job? Because he uses his quickness. He's got the ability and the tenacity to try and deny him the possession of the ball. And he's got the better foot speed to, uh, when he gets by him, to catch up with him. Bird, Cooper right with him. But Cooper's like a winter coat on Bird. Bird gets helped up by Michael Cooper. What the Lakers are doing right now is putting probably the best defensive person in the NBA to play him. And he's going to have to work real hard to get his game going. Well, there's going to have to be some strategy changes to get him the ball. And we see Larry Bird being guarded by Michael Cooper, and he's playing deny defense. He's trying to get in the passing lane. He's got the quick feet to enable him to do it. When you guard against Larry Bird, you was in his face like you ain't getting that shit off on me. You ain't scoring no 40 on me. I mean, I used to hear you say that all the time. On offensive end, I was I suppressed mine for you guys. 
We're going to watch Michael Cooper on Larry Bird. Cooper all over. Well, they recognize that Cooper gives Bird a lot of trouble. The Celts trying to solve it early by sending him into the low post. But he's not having his game today, Larry Bird. Blocked by Kareem. And trying to save it and diving into the fifth row of the stands is Michael Cooper. I don't, I'm not exaggerating when I say fifth row either. Now the ball to Bird, punched away by Cooper. Boy, he's quick. And he gives to Bird, and that's a good idea. Bird has it punched away by Cooper, but bounces back. Ahead to Bird. Last shot by Cooper. Excellent block by Michael Cooper. It was his mission to shut Larry Bird down or anybody else that he played. Those were some great rivalries there. For a skinny kid overlooked by both college recruiters and the NBA, Cooper is some kind of player. He's a tenacious defender who is asked to shadow players no one can really stop. He's also a smart, unselfish passer, a willing rebounder, and an improving shooter. And he'll do whatever it takes to come up with the ball. Forgot to tell him he'd never fly. Defense, it takes a lot of hard work and desire. 